So, um, hello, uh, welcome to this new uh, very short tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, gaming controllers and how to use them in Gaia Sky. So, Gaia Sky uses uh, SDL as, as the library in the, in the backend to um, communicate with uh, gaming controllers. SDL is a well established library, um, lots of applications use it, and it contains lots of mappings for different uh, kinds of controllers. Um, so usually you shouldn't have any problems uh, with connecting uh, your uh, favorite controller and use it with Kaya Sky. Um, the mappings should already be there and the ones which we provide uh, should just work. Uh, if they don't, we have uh, ways of uh, reconfiguring uh, them. So I'll be talking about this a bit uh, and also how um, to navigate uh, Kaya Sky uh, with a gaming controller. So um, what we are going to be using uh, today is this uh, standard uh, Xbox 360 controller. Uh, now it's unplugged. Um, as you can see, um, here is the USB cable. I'll just plug it and you will see that Kai Sky automatically uh, recognizes it. So as you can see here, we got a message saying that a uh, new controller has been detected. Uh, now what we can do is we can press P to go into the settings and uh, just navigate to this uh, controls tab. And here there's a section which reads uh, controller. In this section, uh, we can do um, basically three things. First one is uh, see what controllers are detected and configure them. The second is to choose the mappings file and the third is to uh, choose whether we want to invert uh, the X and Y axis. Some people like to invert them, uh, personally I don't, but this is uh, just up to personal preference. So uh, if you are one of these guys that uh, like to invert uh, either the X or the Y, uh, view axis um, that just go ahead and use these checkboxes here. Okay, so uh, our controller is now connected. Um, I just plugged it in and it says here SDL Game Controller Xbox 360. Um, so what we could do now is uh, have a look at uh, this configure uh, button here. Uh, I'll just click this and as you can see, um, this brings up a new um, window and here we can just um, remap the controller buttons. So as you can see there's one highlighted here which is the DA button and we can just click it and just keep on clicking the buttons as they appear. So uh, axis, up and down, uh, horizontal and then the button, up and down, horizontal, button, then the D-pad, up, down, left, right, start, select, uh, triggers and that's it. So um, we have uh, configured this new controller. Usually you don't really have to do it because uh, chances are that SDL already contains mappings for your controller but if you have problems you can use this little utility to remap uh, your buttons. There's some extra stuff in here and you may have noticed here there's the sensitivity um, section here you can increase or decrease the sensitivity of uh, the X and Y um, axis for your uh, left and right sticks. Also, um, there's sensitivity for the triggers and finally there's a power value uh, here which you can change. This is basically a power function that gets applied afterwards. So um, if, you, if your dead zone is uh, too large or if you have problems with your mappings, you may want to play around with it, uh, otherwise I would just leave it as, uh, I would just leave it in the default. And finally here we can choose the name for our new mappings file. So let's just put new mappings in and save. And just like that, uh, by default we selected this new mappings file. Notice here it says user, uh, there's some internal um, mappings files provided, so basically the SDL standard mappings file and all of the user files that we have, uh, that, we, that you create basically. So I'll just go ahead and select the default one and save. Okay, so um, Gaia Sky, uh, basically you can um, navigate around with uh, the controller. 
If you need to uh, learn more about the controller mappings in GSKI, this means which action or actions are mapped to which uh, button for every mode, just navigate to these uh, GSKI documentation uh, pages. Here is the URL. Uh, when you use the latest here at the um, final part of the URL, you will get uh, the bleeding edge version. Otherwise, you can just uh, remove this and you will get all of the, uh, so the documentation for each of the versions of uh, Gaia Sky. So just um, bring up the latest documentation, navigate to usage dates and options, and then control panel. And here, uh, sorry, not control panel, controls. And here, just click on gamepad controls. This will bring up this page. Uh, it contains some information about how the system works. Also, it documents the internal um, file, uh, the internal mappings file that you can edit uh, right away, or you can just use a graphical user interface provided in Gaia Sky, as we've seen before in the video. And here at the very bottom, you, you got uh, all of the buttons and the respective actions documented for each of the modes. So just feel free to come here, have a look. Also, if you scroll up a bit, you will have, uh, you will find information about the mouse controls. So here, um, as you can see, every mouse action is documented here also. And uh, if you scroll even uh, further up, you will uh, also find uh, information about the keyboard, keyboard mappings. And now it's a good time to also point you to the general documentation of okay, Sky. So it's this uh, website. Um, feel free to navigate around, there's lots of uh, good information and uh, usually I, I keep this um, relatively up to date so uh, whenever I implement a new feature I usually document it and upload the documentation so chances are that um, if, got, if you've got a question it's documented here somehow in some way or form so just feel free to um, navigate around and yeah just Look for information here. So let's get back to Gaia Sky. We are now in focus mode with the Earth as a focus. If we have a quick look at the buttons, we can see that the X button activates and deactivates the minimap. Then uh, we can toggle the visibility of um, labels with the A button, the B button um, toggles the visibility of asteroids, I think. Yeah. Also, we can um, move or set the camera in free mode but by clicking on the right uh, stick. So if I click, it's uh, focus mode. If I click again, it's free mode. So as you can see, now I'm moving free mode. So these are orbits. Okay, so this is uh, about the movement. So maybe we can just move around a bit and as you can see I'm exiting the solar system and now we start seeing some movements in the stars okay so we are back again um, I will demonstrate now a feature which is uh, not in the public uh, package released version of Gaia Sky so it's not in 2.3 and if you're running it from the source repository, you will have access to this feature. Otherwise, um, you need to wait until the next version is released. Um, the next version will probably come up in December, so December the 3rd, and it will be version 3. Um, so in this version, we have implemented um, a user interface uh, to access some of the settings of Gaia Sky using only the controller. So to access this interface, you just need to press start on your controller. And as you can see here, we have a few sections that we can navigate with the um, shoulder buttons. So search, camera, time, object types, options. Uh, these are mostly visual options and an exit button. So usually when you are using a game controller, you don't want to be um, uh, changing from controller to the keyboard and then back to the controller in order to look for objects. So here we have a little uh, keyboard that we can use to um, look for objects. So for example, moon, and as you can see, once an object is found, uh, it just focused uh, by default. So if you type in something and this is the name of an object, it will find it. So let's look for something else, for example. Uh, where is the 
あるんでうんうんそう、今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今は今